In this video, we're going to solve the differential equation y times y double prime plus y prime squared equals y times y prime. We're going to make a substitution and let v equal y prime. So y prime is just a derivative of y with respect to x. So we can have it in two different forms, y prime or dy over dx. And so when I take the derivative of v with respect to x, that's just taking the derivative of y prime one more time. And so we get it we get y double prime as a derivative of y prime. Now we're going to take dv over dx, which can be rewritten as dv over dy times dy over dx. And I can do that because the dy's are going to cancel and you're left with dv over dx. Now dv over dy is just dv over dy, and then dy over dx is over here. That's going to be v. So I can replace dy over dx with v. Now I can go back to the original differential equation, replace y double prime with dv over dx, and then y prime with just v. At this point, I can make another substitution. So I have dv over dx over here is equal to dv over dy times v. That's this over here. So instead of dv over dx, we replace it with dv over dy times v. And then we'll leave everything else the same. Finally, I can multiply this out. The y times dv over dy times v is just vy dv over dy. And then I subtract the yv from both sides. They both have a factor of v, so I can pull that out. And so I have two things being multiplied, like a times b is zero. A here is V, so that means A is zero or B is zero. In this case, I let V equal zero, and then I let whatever's inside the parentheses equal to zero. V, remember, was Y prime. So if V is zero, that means Y prime is zero. So if I take the antiderivative of a constant, I'm sorry, if I, antiderivative of zero is just a constant. So one solution is gonna be Y equals a constant. Now the other solution will be from this equation, which I'll add y to both sides. And then I can divide both sides by y and then get an integration factor will just be e integral one over y dy. And so that simplifies to e ln of y, which is just y. So this is what I'm gonna be multiplying both sides of the equation. And when I do that, I can just uh, rewrite this as just y v, the derivative of y times v, because this is just y times v prime plus y prime times v. y prime is just one. So cancel the derivative by integrating both sides. And my goal is to solve for y. Well, first let's solve for v. So if I solve for v, that, v, that means I have to divide both sides by y. Remember, v was y prime, so that can be rewritten as just dy over dx. And this is now a separable differential equation. So I'm basically going to take this whole right side and switch spots with dx. Okay, next I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 2y. So the 2 cancels and the y cancels. And now I can integrate both sides. And when I integrate dx, you can think of this as just like one dx. So the antiderivative one is x and then plus another constant. Now to integrate this, we have to do a u substitution. We'll let u equal the denominator. So du is just the numerator. So now it's just the integral du over u, which is just ln of u, u being y squared plus two times a constant. But before I do that, uh, we'll just raise e to both sides. And then whenever you do e to ln of x, that's just gonna equal x. Uh, replace u with y squared plus two times a constant and subtract by the constant and then take the square root. And so you have to uh, consider 
both solutions, a positive and a negative. Okay, so now we put it all together because init initially we solved for the solution of y equals a constant and then we bring it together with the other solution that we just solved for.